I think I was in the bathroom at least like 10 to 20 times last night, so didn't sleep much either. Might nap on the way over there, just nap until we start. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to EJ's training camp. Hoping I can make it. It's the night before. I've gotten really sick. It's coming out of both ends. And uh, teammate Ryan's also gotten really sick. And teammate Jeff. So we're hoping some, we're hoping we can rally and try to ride tomorrow. Because we need to make the time cut. So I'm kind of bummed up right, right now. But I'm going to try to drink some carbs, some electrolytes. Get some liquid back in me. We'll see you in the morning guys. Good morning. Last time I saw you guys, I was uh, in between bathroom visits. We're still in between bathroom visits, but I uh, decided to try my best to, you know, ride today, make a time cut so we can continue, uh, continue racing. Yeah, I was trying to eat these Eggo waffles, but they taste terrible, to be honest. And uh, poor Ryan over here, kind of the same boat. <laughs> so we're just going to do everything we can to get through today, trying to get a little bit of nutrients in me. I think I was in the bathroom at least, like, 10 to 20 times last night, so didn't sleep much either. Might nap on the way over there, just nap until we start. So, uh, yeah, with that, I'm welcome back to uh, another video. This is gonna be a crazy one. <laughs> And just like that, we are off again on another stage of the Tour of Tahiti, stage three. Today's stage was 77.65 miles or 124 kilometers with a pretty savage climb to finish it off. But honestly, if you couldn't tell from the beginning of this video, our team was just trying to survive at this point. We are on board right now with uh, with Jeffrey on the GoPro and he's kind of bringing up the rear of the Peloton. Now, if you haven't seen the other episodes of the Tour of Tahiti, Jeffrey is our team leader. He's currently in the green jersey, third overall in GC, but sadly he got the same bug that I have. Uh, luckily it wasn't quite as bad, but still he was, he was hurting. So his goal, just like everyone else on our team's goal, was to sit in today and just survive. Except for teammate Mitch. Teammate Mitch actually rode pretty savagely today. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage from his bike or from the live broadcast that they had, but there's this picture that was taken to show that Mitch was off the front and in that break to actually snag up some KOM points on the very first climb. So go Mitch. But unfortunately, that break did get brought back. And honestly, the rest of today was very similar to the first stage that, that we raced here in Tahiti. And if you haven't watched that video, well, what happens is attacks and counterattacks and attacks and counterattacks go until the elastic snaps and a break gets away. And unfortunately, Mitch was caught out of position when that happened. And everyone else was unfortunately just too weak from <laughs> the night before and the morning of spending most of that in the bathroom. So unfortunately this stage was definitely not our stage so how did it all end up well unfortunately jeff got knocked down a couple spots in gc and in the green jersey i think he was fourth in the green jersey competition after this day i think he was fifth or sixth in gc after this day mitch actually raced this race really well though kudos to mitch he finished in between the break and the peloton so he ended up actually having a decent result i think he was sixth or seventh overall in this stage so for this being a pretty tough stage that was that was really awesome to see and was a nice silver lining and another silver lining was that everyone finished which means that everyone got to move on to the next stage because if you didn't finish you were disqualified well everyone except for yours truly i got about 10 seconds into the race put down a little bit of power Ga gave it honestly as as much as i had and just got popped. I just don't think I had enough nutrients in my body. I don't know. It was uh, it was really, really tough and kind of sad. I was just going to slow pedal and try to make the time cut because the time cut is it's pretty generous. It's like 35 minutes behind the Peloton. 
But once I got to this first climb here, about halfway up, I pretty much just collapsed on the side of the road and Alyssa pulled out from the team car and uh, made me go home. So I think, unfortunately, it was the right call as much as I wanted to keep pushing and keep going. My body just had nothing left to give. And on the ride home, I passed out actually while riding. Luckily, I was totally safe. I was coming to a stop at a stoplight anyway. So I think, unfortunately, it was the right call. As much as I want to be out there ripping with the boys, there just simply was nothing that I can do. And it seemed like I got dealt the, the short straw in the situation. It definitely seemed like I had the worst of the worst when it came to this bug that we got out of everyone. And I just felt incredibly depleted. Still a little bit bummed to this day about about how my racing ended in Tahiti because like like I said earlier, if you don't finish the stage, you don't get to race the next stage. So that's a wrap for me in racing in Tahiti. But I'm still incredibly thankful to have had this opportunity. It was gorgeous here. I mean, did you guys see the place that we started at for this stage? I mean, even though I didn't feel well, it was still awesome to look around. We started, I think that was like the mayor's house. So overall just such a cool event so much fun and don't you worry this is not the end of the tahiti content i still filmed and went out to all the other races made as much content around the team as possible so be sure to stay tuned for that like subscribe but yeah unfortunately this was the end of racing for your boy but you know what that's just that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes but seriously guys thank you so much for the support couldn't do any of this without you guys and uh we'll see you tomorrow for another tahiti video Stage four, let's see, let's see if we can battle back and get that green jersey. Let's go.